Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we have been on the LTL for oh, nearly 800 cycles now. And recently we have been working upon the space sciences. Yes, we've got our telescope out. We have been opening our star map and trying to look into the distant yonder of the blackness that is up there and trying to see what uh, materials we can grab from space if we were so inclined to launch rockets. And I am inclined to launch rockets, but we have some uh, problems. If I was to come all the way down here, you might remember that we had this, uh, this, this whole petroleum trickler here. This is sending petroleum down into this area, but it's not quite producing enough power. As you can see, we have no power being stored in here, and indeed the power in most of the areas is just slowly wearing down to nothing so I feel like we need to try and take advantage and harness some other power sources that are around and indeed I have this hydrogen vent just over here and I'm feeling like we can make something of this literally just a corridor over here some water up top some steam machines to cool that water down maybe some temperature shift plates to push the heat upwards and hopefully maybe we can bring the temperature of that hydrogen down enough to be able to uh, I don't know, put a pump over here somewhere and then have a whole nother bunch of petroleum generators also making steam. Yeah, something like that. I'm going to start digging here and, uh, well, actually, actually, what I'm actually going to do is move this line to go up here and move all this stuff over here. But then I'm going to open this area out. We're going to put some temperature shift plates down and I'm going to start thinking about where we can have water versus steam machine versus hydrogen. So, Dr. Captain Subs has kind of brought it to my attention that uh, food is not being dealt with very well right now. You can see that we've dropped down to 14 Killer calories, and for some reason we've got a bit of a harvest issue over here and we can have a look that that's because of the uh, the dirt not being delivered legit is our uh, farmer guy and he doesn't really appear to be going around doing all that much I'm not sure what he is and is not doing now, at the moment he's doing the weeds warts over here so it looks like we actually need another farmer at some point but something that I do need to do is to push the weeds warts uh, not the weeds warts sorry push the millwood up to a six because uh, they, they very much do need to be dealt with and Maybe once we've done this, we should expand our farms? Yeah, maybe. It's all a little bit confusing that they're not getting fed because look, here's nine tons of dirt. Uh, I, d I don't know. I really, I don't, I don't get what's going on. Oh, anyway, back down here, we're getting a little bit of an insulated layer going down. Oh, hey, Cubic, how are you doing? Coming through and clearing out the area, and now I'm putting a line of iron metal tiles up the above, up above here. I've got a, a, an airlock for people to get in and out, but of course, you know, these ladders still kind of go through. My plan, as I say, wash hot, uh, wash hot hydrogen down here, and I'm currently having uh, the the the, the dilemma with myself, the small debate of whether I'm going to have one entire steam area, which we then just like drop heat, uh, heat transfer tiles through, or do we have uh, little pockets so we can go from a hot one to a cold one to a cooler one and work our way down. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do know at the end here, though, we are going to have some radiant pipes, which are obviously going to finish with going in here. And these are going to make a nice little radiator to cool down the very last of the hydrogen like so. Oh, this is crazy. So I started making these uh, temperature shift plates out of obsidian because I thought it'd be a nice, easily renewable uh, source of materials to make this out of. But if I just go one, oh, already that's what, oh, out of obsidian? What do you mean we're out of obsidian? There are so much obsidian on here. We obviously need to go and dig up some more. The th good thing is obsidian appears in like massive chunks like this. What well, boulders was one of the prop, one of the uh, the world gen settings that we had, and almost all of the boulders are made out of obsidian. So uh, you know that that's cool, right? Literally cannot get over the fact that we nearly ran out. Like wow. <laughs> you know, I suppose I'll come to terms with it eventually, but more. Oh. What are you guys doing? Just hanging around for no reason. Uh, no, no, literally. Ah, uh, here we go. No reason to just not be going. That's what I was be trying to say. But okay, let's make a granite ladder. Is this a granite ladder? I don't know what we got here. Uh, granite, mainly because that's what I saw on the floor. We're going to have to be able to make that type of stuff. Uh, hopefully these guys are now going to spring into action. All right, away forest goes. I uh, gotta, got to watch out for these little, like, dig yourself into a corner businesses as you're building this stuff. It happens quite often. It happens very often. Okay, this is the rough shape of the uh, system that I want to put into place here. We've got the hot, hot hydrogen cone 
going past it will go past these uh, temperature shift plates this will push up into an area that we're going to have filled with steam steam turbines will be chilling these areas down hopefully getting progressively colder as we go along until eventually we hit a radiator which we're going to fill with ethanol I feel like we can bring the temperature down enough to be uh, within the range that ethanol takes we've got a little bit over here so we can have a look and see what our maximum temperature is 78 I hope I hope we've got it down cool enough over there. If we have a quick look at the pipelines, you see we're going up and past this lot first because I feel like, uh, like if we take a look at one of our systems up here, this place just kind of stays cold, as you can see. It doesn't matter how much heat gets pulled out of here. It's kind of just carries on using the, the bulk of the, the liquid inside this storage area here to keep this entire place very, very chilly. And I'm hoping to use that same system down here. So we're going to fill this up with ethanol, but I need to try and do something about all this waste gas in here. I want to build a vacuum chamber over here and maybe another one over here. Seal this off down the bottom. Okay, let's let's get around and let's start doing it. Okay, ventilation. I want to, of course, start with two gas pipes in here, uh, two gas pumps in there, because I want to be able to keep this uh, this this sealed, this clear. I don't want uh, gases to be coming out of there. I'm going to put another gas pump there, and then this will be, oh, of course, we're on the very edge of the screen. Uh, this will be the hydrogen pump like that i think yep yeah yeah that works of course it, of course all of this will double up as temporary pump just to get rid of get rid of the uh the, the gases that are in here and we definitely do need to work on that i'm wondering whether i want to keep this area like this or perhaps move an uh, an airlock up the top here yeah let's do that let's deconstruct that uh, let's get a door uh, it's a wolframite one but no no an iron one okay beautiful that will do we'll do one this way and one there when we can of course, I'm hoping by having these double pumps here that whenever any duplicates need to come into the steam room, which they shouldn't do, but if they do, we can have both of these pumping out to clear the gases that are coming in from the outside and the steam that's trying to escape from the inside. So you might notice that I've only got two hydrogen generators up there. That's because I've done a little bit of maths here. Uh, only really worked out over the eruption period. I didn't actually think about the activity uh, period. So maybe actually when the uh, hydrogen vent goes dormant, the whole lot's going to shut down. But that doesn't really matter. What I've done and figured out is that we are getting, uh, you know, 314 times the eruption period is a big number. But the uh, hydrogen generator, if it takes 100 grams per second, times that 100 grams per second by 500. 89 that gives you a, another big number you divide this one big number by the amount of hydrogen coming out that tells me that i need two hydrogen generators actually just a little bit over it but as it's like only for the activity period not for the full period then it should work out of two generators there so the two generators should be able to put, uh, be able to burn the full output of this hydrogen event one when it's in full flow we are in a period of great dormancy. This one is dormant. If we come up to the actual base, we've got a natural gas geyser above there, which is also dormant. Uh, I know it says there's some natural gas, but it's just in the micrograms. As you can see, that is also dormant. If we come to the first gas geyser that we ever took, uh, took control of, that's also dormant. In fact, the only thing that's working right now is our steam geyser, and that's slowly being overwhelmed by the heat. Uh, which is uh, an interesting set of scenarios to find yourself in. So we have found ourselves with no power, which has led to no oxygen, which has led to me having to let these guys out without their suits on again. I think uh, I think Jelly managed to get some oxygen into his suit, so that's pretty cool. I really didn't think we'd ever be back here. I really, really didn't think we'd ever be back at the situation where we're like, oh no. Uh, so because of that, I have uh, not let anybody down into the hot area. I turned off entrance to there. Try and remind me to turn that back on because, oh, you know I'm going to forget. Uh, mainly, it's just so we can start get, getting this up and running. As soon as all of this wiring is in place uh, i don't i don't think i'm even going to bother trying to get everything completely vacuumed out we're just going to seal it up and see what happens because i need the power i need oh i need that power you know 103 is a big number uh, i'm not sure if this is the best time for this but miss is going in to dig stuff out which means i also want to deconstruct all of this to, uh, now would be the time that's actually starting to release its high high temperature stuff. Uh, I'm just hoping that we can get a little kick of power out of some of these steam turbines uh, to start. Oh, is it, is it going to work here? The temperature shift play? Uh, I'm not sure because we've got a lot of carbon dioxide in here that's like 30 degrees. I'm not sure whether the temperature shift plate is actually going to be able to uh, to get the temperature out of there and pump it into the water anywhere near enough. Uh, this is probably not the best timing. How long until it's idle again? That's what I really need to know. Not dormant, just idle. 
0.2 cycles. Oh, Mimi's come along to destroy this wall. I put it down on a lower priority, but okay, that's fine. We, we, we can live with that. I've got a new plan kicking off up here. We've got a, men a couple of manual generators going into place, and hopefully that will sort us out. This stalt water's probably just gonna have to be uh, left to flash into steam. I did put down a whole bunch of mop orders, but I don't think that's gonna actually be very helpful right now. In fact, I think we're gonna have to turn the permissions off for in there. I'm hoping that the 560 kilograms of 24 degree ethanol is going to be enough to keep this cool to get started with. I mean, we can hope, right? I put a smart battery up here to keep the charge from these two manual generators just in case we uh, end up in a situation where the, the duplicants have to carry on running to power all this. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. I might even put a whole battery uh, set of batteries across here. Yeah, that might be good. So the last calorie crash we had was all tied to the fact that we ran out of water. And of course, without the power, we've run out of water. So we might be having some troubles. Also, why have these not been put away with the the the, the, the rot up here? Look, this is, where, this is where it all belongs. I would like it to feed my poke shells. Okay, I've just used the lure boost to try and get these guys into the manual generators. And hopefully we can provide enough power to maybe like store some energy in this battery. I don't think that's really going to help though. I think what's going to happen is we're going to pull some gases out of here. We're going to sort them out, uh, put most of them into the waste line straight away. The fact that we can't power this... Uh, oh, are you even hooked up? That's probably a question. Yeah, it's hooked up. All right, we've got our first little bubble of hard-earned hydrogen coming through at 27 degrees. Hopefully, we can bring that down. 26 back here. Uh, we've got, of course, wait until we get enough power together to, f to fire up the thermal aqua tuner here. Definitely going to need that battery bank, I think. Let's, let's do that here. So, at the moment, we're very nicely clearing out a whole bunch of carbon dioxide. Maybe a little too much, but, you know, this will all get filtered down and dealt with as the power rolls in. And the only power that we're really getting at the moment is the hydrogen that we are burning. Uh, peeling off of here. It's not going into the grid, it's going into these batteries for the moment. As you can see, we're not really gaining enough power. Waiting for this to really start warming up everything around. I'm not sure if it's going to happen though. The, the, the hydrogen coming out doesn't appear to be as hot as it claimed it was. Okay, I'm probably going to make a very bad error and let people underneath to come and clean up all this stuff down here. I'm going to say, hey, I want this got at the highest possible priority, but more importantly than that, this little storage bin here, I want these on panic alert. Go, 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 go. Let's see, let's see how many people come down here to pick stuff up. More importantly, how many people get a little bit of damage whilst doing so? I could definitely see that happening as it is super hot gases down here and we've got some slow moving people. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I have literally no idea how this is going to play out. I, I would like to also get a lot of this, uh, this water down here out. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. It has reduced the carbon dioxide to a single layer though, so that's pretty cool. Only about 300 grams, so we, we're going to be getting that out of here pretty fast by the looks but indeed the, the flow through working pretty well. Uh, is that everything? No, nowhere near everything. Oh, 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 we got, we got some 100%ers on the stress down here. It's just Forrest by the looks of it. Let's, uh, let's drop him out of this. Have you been in the suit for... T oh no, look. Oh no, oh look. Oh no, oh look. It all went very wrong for Forrest. I think he got, I think he got trapped in his suit. I think he got trapped in his suit for too long. Went a little bit crazy. Next question. Has it happened to anyone out? Why is Jelly crazy? He is in a suit. Let's unequip that and see if we can send it anywhere. Okay, let's see if that, that was just the problem there. Hopefully, hopefully we dealt with it. Hopefully that is now everything dealt with. Ooh. I thought it was because we were sending them out without suits, but no, it turns out too much suit is just as bad. Got a weird sort of infinite mopping going on down here. Let's see if we can move Miss over here and get some mopping going in the middle. That might uh, might might ease the pressure. We've seen that before. All right, okay. I think we'll just have to let it turn to steam. I think that might work. I think that might work. We'll let it turn to steam and we'll uh, harvest all the waters out of here. It'll probably fill up this little space. Uh, no, this one here. Probably fill up this little space in here. That won't be the end of the world. Why is th th this might be the end of the world back here though? Oh wow. Woo, we're at positive power. Okay, I had to uh, turn the priorities up of these guys up here to try and encourage uh, these guys being the manual generators to encourage the gas to flow through our gas waste system that we have over here. It's just a collection of filters that uh, take all our waste gas, figure out where all the different gases need to go and send them off in that way. That's why this is a mess. It's not at all because I'm bad at, at making pipes. No, 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 no. But anyway, we are now at the point where we're p pumping out pretty much solid hydrogen and having a look at this battery over here, you can see that it's just climbing up. Miss, miss, you're not. 
You, you, you are helping, but you're kind of not helping. Thanks very much. So even with Miss off of there, you can see it's going up all the time. All right, okay, okay Miss, miss I'm, I'm very, very thankful, but could you not, please? Could you please not? I love the fact that they go into, like, the heat chamber and complain about the cold. I'm not sure why, but they're doing it anyway. <laughs> I opened it up again because I decided I wanted to get rid of all this water rather than letting it turn to steam because, uh, steam. For an actual answer, I didn't want to break my pipes. <laughs> so with the aqua tuner running, it's just losing power. But that's okay because we've not even got the heat turbines going yet. And it looks like we're going to be getting that soon as the temperature does appear. Oh, let's not look at the insulated pipe. That, that really confuses things. As you can see, the temperature shift plate and the hydrogen both climbing. Don't don't contradict me here, temperature shift plate. But they're both uh, slowly trending upwards. I'm a little worried about this blob of salt water we've got here. It is totally going to break very, very shortly. I'm not sure what the freezing point is of salt water. we got it underneath here, so let's have a look. Uh, minus 7. Th that's when it turns into brine. And then minus 22 is when it turns into brine ice. Well, that's going to be interesting when it happens. I'm most impressed with the fact that we've got no power available. And we, ah, we were running the thermo aqua tuner and the two pumps. Uh, but that still, the two pumps and the... Uh, and the gas filter here and building up, going down, building up. Uh, it's, it's the thermal aqua tuner turning on and off as it can. All right, eruptions happening and look at the temperature of that th uh, shift plate there, up to 75. Autosave comes in to ruin my point, make me have to sit here and wait a little bit longer. But 76, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely on its way up. But I um, I feel like we need to do this and I will explain why uh, over the, the sounds of the klaxons. You can see here that the, actually the hydrogen is being super constricted by the amount of layers of liquid we've got here. So if we can move this back, oh, as you can already see, if we can move this back, we're going to be able, oh no, no, P, uh, P0 is what I want. Uh, we're going to increase the flow by, by quite a lot, by, by a, a, yeah, by a lot, by a lot, a lot. Wow, that, that was actually more effective than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah, oh, that, that's just so good now. Pure hydrogen flow, mostly. We'll have to see what we can do about these water bottles in here. Uh, but in the, now, looking here, ah, oh, we've backed up again. Guys, guys, please. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Every now and then, as you can see, one of the pumps gets over pressure where the pipe gets blocked uh, because it can't fill through. And at that time, even with the aqua tuner going, the uh, the amount of power goes up, but then it will consume some hydrogen. Both pumps will turn on again and then it will uh, turn, uh, consume a little bit of power. But yeah, all in all, the trend is currently upwards and I like that. I like that a lot. Especially as, once again, no heat power being harvested yet. We do have a little bit of steam being made, but it's not at the point where it can be used. But with that in mind, I've started putting in two little automation lines here because I've got a, uh, a small gas balance issue. As you can see, we've got some hydrogen at the top and we've got some water down below. Now, the water is totally where it needs to be, so that is brilliant. Hydrogen could really do with moving it out. As you can see, we've moved most of the, the heavy gases out already. We've got some hydrogen, uh, some, sorry, some carbon dioxide and some natural gas in there. Uh, but... I am going to very much want to be swapping swapping around the order of these doors. And later on, oh, 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 there goes the there goes the little bit of uh, salt water that we knew we had to deal with at some point. Where where where's the gap? There it is. Ah, oh, I mean, all right, cool. We we knew it was happening. Little bit little bit of a shame, but we knew it was happening. Look, we even got some salt in there. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Of course, it would be an issue. We've got steam coming into here and uh, condensing on the doors. That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. Man, this mini gas pump is already overheated. It's useless. I'm uh, deconstructing both of them. As it is, we've got a bit of a water carbon dioxide steam lock on the go. I'm kind of all right with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, I'm just waiting for enough of the gas to compact down into this end place here that I can, like, flick the switch, close the door, and capture a, a beautiful environment to just pump out and be clear of. I'm hoping... Oh, look, we might even just leave that like that for a moment. Uh, I'm hoping that we can clear out all the hydrogen first, then all the carbon dioxide, and just leave a perfectly steam-ridden environment there. But look, there, there's a little bit over there. I don't know how, how easy that is going to be to get. Once the hydrogen's gone, I might even just crack the bottom door open a little bit and hope that it, the weight of it pulls it down and under. That, that would be great. Still need some power, though. The carbon dioxide disappeared on me? It has. It's just disappeared. Where did it go? I don't know. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's 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 fine. I'm I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Now the only thing I want to do now is to watch these things fire up, connect the power, and see it like continue to have 
full power when that happens. Uh, that would be great if that's the case. That that would be amazing. One thing I didn't anticipate, and maybe perhaps I should have, is that this uh, thermal aqua tuna was going to get so hot before we actually managed to bump everything up into full temperature. So down here we're uh, looking at about 130. The steam is about 125. At some point this uh, this steam turbine is going to turn on, but over this side we're only looking at about 100 degrees. Oh, where, where is this coming from? We got some steam escaping. Ah, I mean, I, I see what's happened here. Don't like it, but okay. <laughs> Thankfully, these are all just like sedimentary rock or whatever, and we've got that coming out the wazoo. Top tip for you guys, if you want to get this hydrogen up to a decent temperature above 110 degrees, you need to totally make sure everything is cleared out from in front of your hydrogen vent. I had a few bits of debris down here, I hadn't cleared out all the tiles, and I hadn't put in this insulated wall, and I just could not get this temperature shift plate up above 110 degrees. Now that I have insulated the box and picked up all the debris, it, the, the temperature is just climbing. Look at that, 120. It's gone up a degree as we've been talking. The hydrogen is climbing up in a degree. The temperature shift plate is climbing up degrees. This means that the uh, the steam up here is, is getting hot. I've already watched this one turn over once, but that's all due to the power of the thermal aqua tuner, and that's not what I'm really looking for. What I'm really looking for is a bit of power over here. This doesn't want to this doesn't want to turn on until 200, but I want to watch it go at 125 because it does do that. So let's do that. Uh, of course, I was like, oh no, why is it not turning up? Of course, it's 125 down here, but it's only like 124 up here. We we gotta wait for a degree. Okay, the state of the system as we stand at the moment, we have got just a little bit of trickle of charge going through this smart battery here. This is because we have got these hydrogen uh, pumps down below, picking up two hydrogen pumps worth of hydrogen, I know, crazy, passing it into these pipes and they, they go off into these generators over here, which are producing enough sort of ground level uh, electricity to keep these three things going. Unfortunately, we've also got the thermal aqua tuner going, but that's kind of okay because it's providing enough heat to turn these steam turbines over every so often. Let's have a look and see what the temperature's at. We're at 130 here over this side. 149. Oh my gosh, this is literally... Let, uh, excuse me. Let me let me put that 150. Oh uh, yeah, we get to get to watch this make a little bit of uh, steam here. It's like no, no. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna now drop down a degree. Thanks very much. Well, we'll watch that happen in a second. Uh, we've still got a little bit of power problems on the main grid. I figured out what it is. We've got the, the, the power restriction system to make sure there's enough power you know, like, like what we've got over here. And then when this one snaps shut, when the battery is full it'll dump an entire battery's worth into the grid at once, which all gets used at once, which then pushes us over the 20 kilowatts. So we need to put a little bit of a restriction system on there. Honestly, I'm just going to put a transformer after the battery and then restrict everything down to so many watts being pushed out, right? That's And then when we, when we max out the wire we max out the wire. But I think with that and a little bit of fleeing that's going on in the background over there. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're honestly, we're going to be doing the farms because the lack of food, it was a big problem today, and we're going to try and make it not a big problem next time. But I'll see you then, and we're going to do that. Bye!